हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू डीवीएस मैथ आई एम दीपा प्रसाद स्टार्टिंग क्लास नाइन्थ पॉलिनोमियल्स एक्सरसाइज 4.1 सो इन एक्सरसाइज 4.1 वी आर डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर टू राइट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग राइट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग As I told you, the coefficient is nothing but here we are going to write. For example, if I consider x square, here the num nothing is there in product with x square, but you have to consider it as one. So here the coefficient of x square is one. So in the same case, if I consider five x square, so here coefficient of x square is five. So the number, the constant which is multiplied to the variable. Clear. So that we are calling it as coefficient. Here, particularly, they are asking the coefficient of x square. So now, let us see the coefficient of x square now. So first question: two plus x square plus x. Two plus x square plus x. Here, the coefficient of x square. If you observe the coefficient of x square now. There is nothing here, but if it is nothing, you have to consider it as one. So, what is the answer? Coefficient of x square is equal to one. Means the number which is multiplied to the variable. So here the x square, the number which is multiplied to the variable is one. So here the coefficient of x square is one. Next second question: two minus x square plus x cube. Two minus x square plus x cube. Here it is minus x square. That means you have to consider it as minus one. So our answer is coefficient of x square is equal to minus one. Third one and fourth sub question. Pi by two x square plus x. Pi by two x square. Here we have pi by two x square. So here we have pi by two. So what is the coefficient of x square? So answer is pi by two. In the same case, if we consider here, observe second fourth question. Root two x minus one. Root two x minus one. Here we don't have the x square here. We don't have the x square. So if it is nothing here, the x square is not there. You have to consider it as so. Here we can write. 0 x square plus root 2 x minus 1. So anything is multiplied to x square is anything multiplied to 0 is 0. So together you can write it as root 2 x minus 1. So left here, what is the coefficient of x square? You can write it as 0. Clear? So here coefficient is nothing but a number or a constant which is multiplied to the variable. We are calling it as coefficient. You particularly they are asking the coefficient of x square. So write what is the coefficient of x square in first case one, in second case minus one, in third case pi by two. But in last case we don't have the x square variable, so we are taking it as zero. So in the in same this exercise we have another question. Question number three: Give one example each of a binomial of degree thirty-five and of a monomial of degree hundred. As you know that by means what you will write by. So by means you will write two terms. So that means here we have to consider two terms of degree thirty-five. Means the highest power must be thirty-five, and the monomial of degree hundred. Monomial of degree hundred. Monomial means it is a single term. Monomial, mono means single here. Two here it is one. By means two. Monomial means one. It should consist of two terms. It should consist of one term. So if you keep on, if you can take any example for that. Here observe monomial of degree thirty five. So you can write like this: two to the power of. 2x to the power of 35 plus 1. Here the degree is 35 because the highest power is 35, and they asked binomial, so we have two terms. Monomial of degree 100, so y to the power of 100, or you can write x to the power of 100, or t to the power of 100. You can take anything, but it should consist only one term, and the power must be 100 here, the, because degree is 100, so highest power is 100. But here binomial in the case of binomial also you can take. Like y to the power of 35 plus 3, you can write like this also. Y to the power of 35 plus 3. Thank you.